Welcome back to the movie trivia showdown. I am Christian Harloff, and this is round number two, continuing on for the ultimate showdown, the singles tournament. Joined, as always, by my counterpart, Mark Baby Carrots Ellis. Mark, this is another battle between corruption and swag. They these they just can't keep away from each other, and the stakes couldn't be higher. No, Christian, it, it's like they cannot exist without hanging out with one another at least once a day. And of course they, I mean Winston and Shannon, the managers respectively of Team Swag and Corruption. And this time the combatants that they're putting in the ring, I have no idea who's gonna win this one, but I'm telling you this right now, Christian, keep an eye on whoever comes out of this one and advances in the tournament to be a front runner to make it to the final four because both of these kids know a hell of a lot about movies. Yeah, and this is this this is a big piece for um for swag because you see what they've been doing all season but they have three big guns left liz shannon miller who has just been her last match in that tko victory was she just looked very relaxed she looked calm she looked the way that she looked to play and you hear her when she talks about playing with swag and playing from the comfort of her own home it's added something new to her game they also have paul oyama left they also have lon harris shannon really needs chance to win this here today she needs them this is a this is swag all three of those competitors standing at the side with rocket launchers aiming them at the side of the corruption ship they could blow a big hole in the middle of it right now but we'll see what happens uh because chances is not going to go quietly into the night no, he certainly isn't, Christian. And, and and for anybody who's talking about, oh, well, let's see what Chance can do solo in singles. It, yes, I know this is more than just inner geekdom categories. And you also have to look at what he's done as a teammate. But when you put him in any match and he's get a little bit of chance to prep, we know he's got one of the hardest working teams in the biz and one of the best oiled machines with Shannon Barney having all of the combatants that play for corruption get in there and really test each other so they have such good chemistry but then you have team swag with Shannon Miller I know she's working with the other swag members appropriately so because they're pushing her and Liz Shannon Miller I'll tell you this she never brings anything less than her a game even in losses she is a formidable opponent and I think that if she beats chance that could be a statement victory for her and the fandom of the schmodown uh, totally agree, but look, Chance is playing at another level right now. He's got himself a shot at the Inner Geekdom Championship at Spectacular, so he has that riding high. He already has brought a lot of points to Corruption this season. You see what he did in teams. He's The guy is one of the more accurate players we've ever seen, although he did not have, and he'll tell you himself, the best match against Del Rio. Del Rio made him scrap and made him fight and made him earn the win in sudden death. So how does Chance bounce back from that? Because that was almost yet another tournament that Chance was bounced in the first round, but he was determined not to get bounced. He didn't, but he doesn't find himself in an easy round too. I mean, even at all, he finds himself as the underdog going into this match here today. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I try to rationalize everything in the sense of positivity and being happy. And so if you look at Chance, you could say, well, yeah, he got pushed to the limit by a great player in Del Rio. And I think sometimes when a competitor becomes aware of their own mortality early in a tournament, it shores up the weaknesses. But then you look at Liz Shannon Miller and what you said, a TKO. How does that not give you a ton of confidence and a crap load of momentum going into whoever you're facing again? So this is one that I expect to go down to the wire. And uh, sorry, writers, we might have another sudden death match on our hands early in the tournament. It's certainly possible. And we're going to find out exactly all the beef between the two factions and all the story from the two competitors on how they got here today. Here we go. Corruption has grieved the untimely elimination of Mike Kalinowski in the singles tournament. It seems like a lot of you are still stuck on it, which the more I think about is actually a blessing in disguise because that tells me that you've forgotten Chance Ellison. All right, here we go, here we go. Round two. I cannot tell you how great it is to be here. I've wanted for so long to get to the round two of this tournament. What I've proven throughout my entire Smoda career, I mean, I might stumble, but I'm always gonna get better. Who do I got? This time I got Liz Shannon Miller. Look at the brains on chance. Have you ever seen what happens 
to a, a toad that gets struck by lightning, the same thing that happens to a snake and everything else. And your winner! Describe what the second round looks like. It looks a lot like Chance Ellison being bounced and sent home. I mean, I've heard he's not the most nicest person, which is fine. We can handle that, can't we? I could handle you clawing me it all the time, so, you know, that stands to reason. If anybody could do it in an early knockout, I could see her knocking Chance out of the tournament. I'm not saying a knockout of the match, knocking him out of the tournament. Am I nuts for thinking no? Liz Shannon Miller may be strong in knowledge. She's kind of a weak sister, and I fully intend on exploiting that. I want to shout out that, that, that singles belt. I need to go all the way. I need to go through everyone, and unfortunately for you, you're in my way. Your quest for player of the year ends right now. I shall smite thee with the righteous fury that is the lightning Liz Shannon Miller, and you will go with your tail between your legs back to whatever sorry stealer country you come from. And then when you show back up at the spectacular, we'll put you down good, Mr. Ellison. You and your manager. I'm here to have some fun, answer some movie trivia questions, and I'll show those people why I'm moving forward, bitch. That's right, Tank Girl. I said the word bitch. Sometimes I curse. All right, Mark, so we are back from that wonderful promo once again from the great Nerd Chronic, and you see the story is both corruption and swag going head-to-head again, Liz Shannon Miller doing exactly what she did last season. She, Ethan Irwin really touted how good she was going to be, and she has proven it. She has four big wins over the course of a year already, and now this could be arguably one of her biggest matches that she's ever had. Yeah, I mean, look, it, they're... The competitor's vault of movie knowledge is virtually unlimited. My question is, how is the trash talk between Shannon and Winston? Do they have a untapped well of new stuff to throw at each other? Or is this going to be the same insults we've heard because they've been paired so much already this season? No, we know the answer. Liz says, oh, wait, I have Winston and Winston. Go for it. <laughs> and, and it's been great. And I think that it's taken a lot of uh, it's taken a lot of that pressure off of Liz in general. All right, Mark. The uh, competitors are ready, but we are going to hear from our managers here once again. You know, sparks always fly when you get these two in a room, whether it's in a actual physical room or it is virtual. Here is the manager of corruption, the queen herself, Shannon Barney and Winston Marshall, the leader of swag. And oh, it's her again. God, are, are y'all bored? Y'all can't find nobody else for me to beat up on. Come on okay. now. You guys keep winning. Winston. Guys- yeah. oh, 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 oh my God, it's a demon. It's a demon. Both of you guys have kept on winning, and that's why you're here today. But Winston, I want to talk to you for real here. With This is... um. Chance Ellison is one of the big dogs in corruption. And Mike Kalinowski losing in the first round was, um, you know, definitely not expected. And it is now left the Cobra basically fighting off for uh, for Chance's, um, you know, <clears throat> chance here and corruption's chance. So how crucial is it for you guys to take corruption out here today? I mean, it would just be fun. I mean, that would be that'd be a lot of fun to stick it to it. A- godforsaken Steelers fan to stick it to this demon that, you know, was parading around like a queen or something. And, you know, it would just be a lot of fun on top of the fact that I just really, really enjoy spending time with Liz Shannon Miller. She's genuinely one of the nicest people I've ever met. And like to be both very nice and so knowledgeable, like I feel like I learn from her how to be a better person and a more well-spoken person every single time I hang out with her. So I just want this to happen because that means me and Liz just get to keep hanging. Fair enough. All right, well, Christian, as I recover from the vicious blow of finding out that I've been taking down a peg on Winston's nicest people he knows list, I'm going to ask Shannon, who I don't think is anywhere near that particular roster. But Shannon, when you see that you drew Winston as your competitor in a particular match, what's the first emotion you feel is it happiness because you have such a rapport with going against team swag is it nerves is it oh we can take these guys how do you feel when you see team swag 
very annoyed um, because here's the thing with us and swag. We're going to be doing this back and forth for the rest of the season. Uh, together, we were able to topple over the exchange, which was our first goal. I don't know about you, Lindsay, but that was my first goal. Mission oh, my question. And okay. now, And now we are just going to be doing this tango. And it's really annoying because I'm a much better dancer than everyone on his faction. But to have to keep doing it over and over and over again, it's just obnoxious. I'm, I'm tired of the motivational pep talks. I'm tired of his fake energy. I'm just sick of it. I just, I want to level the playing field today. He took out Marisol, and we're going to take out Liz Shannon Miller because we got to keep going back and forth. It's the only way this thing is working. Real um, quick, she, yeah. said, she said that she's a, a, a better dancer than everybody on the faction. Hey, uh, Shannon, whatever your name is. Guess what? To quote the great Rosa Parks, nah. <laughs> Winston, Chandru is missing a swagazole. I don't know how you let him get away with whatever that flailing is that he does on stage, but it's an abomination to everything swag represents and stands for, and you should it's, be ashamed of yourself. It's funny that you say that because I know Chance is supposedly a heel, and Chandru's done more in one week than Chance has done in the years he's been supposedly this bad boy for corruption. Oh, yeah, like, well, we'll see. <laughs> We'll see how long that lasts. Chandru's a weak sister, just like Liz Shannon Miller. Woo, wait a minute, sweet black baby Jesus. You're not just gonna come for the sweetest angel that the Schmodown has ever seen. You will take that back immediately before I get the holy water and sprinkle it on you and you melt like the witch that you are, demon. Uh, Bet. All right, listen, these two uh, doing exactly what they thought they would. Good luck to the both of you. And we'll, I'm sure we'll see you in between rounds. Can't wait. Uh, yeah, Christian, I think, uh, I think I was proven wrong when, when I dared to question if they have any new material to throw at each other. That was the new stuff. They always do, those two. Uh, you yeah. knew it. Then Shannon's right. They're going to be doing it for the whole season. All right, Mark, we're ready to go here. Our competitors are ready. Let's go. Yeah, my hot water got turned off, so I didn't get a chance to shower today. Sorry, folks, but I'm still handsome, and I'm still ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia showdown. Introducing first, representing corruption with a record of three wins, three defeats, and one knockout. He is the 2020 Inner Geekdom Tournament winner and the reigning movie trivia schmodown team champion of the world, the Cobra Chance Ellison. Chance Ellison, Chance, what a year it's been for you. Oh, yeah. You have had a hell of a year thus far. Your performances have been impressive. I don't think there's a lot of people that would argue that you're in contention for comeback player of the year. Um, let's talk about your last match, David Del Rio. I know you said on the record you weren't thrilled with the performance. You skated out, but how how nervous were you in that match? You know, it's it's a big transition going from inner geek to back to singles, in which I haven't played in like a year before I did that. So it was definitely like a good wake up call that of what I need to do. If I want to go further in this tournament, and you do. I do what all great competitors do. I looked at my game, took notes. Saw what I need to do, what I need to do to change up your strategy and stuff like that. So, yeah, I definitely feel more prepared coming into this match than I did that one. Yeah, Chance, it sounds like you're working on your gameplay and how you maneuver yourself around a match more so than worrying about your opponent, if that's fair to say. So is there an opponent that you would have to study how they play the Schmodown? And if so, is one of those opponents Liz Shannon Miller? Well, see, that's where you're wrong, Mark, because I compiled dossiers on all of my opponents. Doesn't matter how big or how small, everyone I study. Liz Shannon Miller's no exception. I've looked at her tape, looked at her game tape, looked at how she plays, and you're right, she is good. Why anyone picked uh, her to lose to Rachel, I have no idea, but I'm not surprised to see her here. And I'm happy to see her here because I get to continue my tour of players who called me out last year that I didn't get a chance to beat. So here we are. All right, well, thank you, Chance, and good luck to you as we put you in the waiting room and wait for your opponent here, the Cobra Chance Ellison. And his opponent, representing Swag, with a record of four wins, two defeats, and one knockout. She is Lightning, Liz Shannon Miller! Liz 
Shannon Miller. Liz, it is an absolute pleasure to have you back here. Um, great victory, obviously, in your round one performance. You and Winston were very happy about that. And, you know, the chance name was thrown around a lot in that post. People saying, beat him, Liz, beat him. And have you been, how have you been prepping for corruption and uh, the Cobra? Well, first things first, uh, I hate to nitpick, but I think I actually have two TKOs now. Um, you, you absolutely do. You're right. You're absolutely right. Not to, not to. No, you're right. Not your record keeping. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, I actually do definitely agree with the idea that, uh, I mean, it's all about playing your game. And I, I'm flattered that uh, it, it chances a dossier on me. Uh, I do not have a dossier on him. I'm just here to play the best game I can. Yeah, Christian, I think Chance has dossiers on competitors. Liz has dossiers on announcers, making yep. sure that they get her intro that right. Sure. And Liz, when we look at the landscape of you joining up with Team Swag, what has that team camaraderie done for your game as an individual? I mean, it's just, it, I, I think I've said it more than once. Uh, it's great to have them in my corner. It's great to know that, you know, win or lose, I'm still you know, win or lose, like I'm still part of this team, part of this group and part of, and able to root people on and, you know, help them prep. And gosh, I wish I was being more eloquent here, but yeah, I mean, that's basically, it's basically just been really fun. Uh, and it's a great group of people. Winston, I think did a great job of assembling, you know, players he felt were genuinely team players. Well, you know, Liz, I got to ask this before we uh, get chance in here to start this match. It has been very, Doc, highly documented on the beef between both Swag and Corruption and um, Shannon and Winston. Is there any talk before this match of how how is it important for you to knock basically Corruption and, and take them back? Uh, it would be a massive, massive blow to them here today. Is there any talk of that or it's just focus on the game and get it done however you can? I think everyone is just rooting for me to do the best I can here. Uh, I know it's an important match, and I also am trying not to think about that as much as humanly possible. Fair enough. All right, so Liz Shannon Miller, thank you so much. We're gonna bring back Chance, bring back Liz. Mark, our competitors have entered the virtual battlefield here and are ready to go. Can we hear the rules around number one? Yeah, the competitors have a much tougher job than I, but I will also try to screw up as little as possible. In round number one, eight questions from eight different corners of movie trivia schmodown know-how. These questions are asked to the field. As soon as we ask the question, you have 15 seconds to write down your best attempt at an answer with whatever utensil you have handy on whatever writing surface you feel comfortable with. Each question is worth one point. There is no penalty for missing a question, and there is no stealing, at least not in round number one. Once we ask you by name to reveal your answer, please show what you wrote to your camera at the same time you verbalize your answer into the microphone. I'll remind each competitor of your three usages of the JT rule throughout the duration of the match. No one has ever worn a backwards hat better. If you're not sure of an answer, you want to buy yourself another 15 seconds, use a JT rule. You also each have one challenge to be used at any point throughout the three round match. You may initiate the challenge, we'll bring your manager in, and they will ultimately confirm and ratify the decision. Christian, they look focused, they look ready, and they both have lovely hats. All right, well, Mark, I'm ready to go. You're ready to go. So I ask Liz Shannon Miller, are you ready? Let's do it. Chance, are you ready? Let's get it. Then let's get ready to Schmodown. Round number one, question number one. Here it is in the realm of action adventure. Which 1989 action sequel features the tagline, The Magic is Back? You know, I, I'm a little jealous of you, Christian, getting to read all these action adventure questions. What if I traded you a comedies for an A and A? I'll do it because it means you know why. Five, four, three. I take it back. Two, one. <laughs> Pens down, please. Pens down. And we start with Liz Shannon Miller. I put Lethal Weapon 3. That's incorrect. And Chance? Uh, no, it is not. I think Ghostbusters 2. Incorrect. Looking for Lethal Weapon, lethal weapon two. 2. 2. So both yeah. myths to start out here. And we get to uh, question 2, Mark. Yeah, I was going to go with another 48 hours. Uh, your question is in the category of famous actors and actresses. And your question. You'll find John Cusack... Jennifer Tilly and Chaz Palminteri in what 1994 Woody Allen film? 
Uh, is Lethal Weapon 2 the one that was filmed like across the street from you, Christian? No, that was the first one. Ah, okay. The laundromat, right? Five. Yep. Four. Three. Two. One. Pens down, please, and chance. Bullets over Broadway. Yes. Liz? Bullets over Broadway. Got it. Okay. So, next question here. Question number three. Question number three. Dramas. Tom Cruise plays Lieutenant Daniel Caffey in what 1992 film? Uh, Chance Ellison opting for the whiteboard. Liz Shannon Miller looking like she's writing down the police dossier with that long, thin kind of notebook. Sure. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. Pens down. And we start with uh, Liz Shannon Miller. You good men. Yes, and Chance? You good men. Correct. 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two, two. as we get to our next question here, Mark. This is question number four. Yes, and that's in the world of directors. Your question. Who directed Josh Brolin in the 2008 biopic W? I know what you're going to say. No? What am I going to say? You're not going to say it? Who edited this review of Schmo's No? First Schmo's No review ever. Five. <laughs> four. Three, two, one. Pens down, please. And the Cobra. It's actually pronounced W, Oliver Stone. Yes. And listen. He has a W, and it's Oliver Stone. <laughs> yes. Three, three. And our next question. Our next question. And here it is. Fantasy sci-fi. What is the subtitle of the 2019 Godzilla movie directed by Michael Doherty? I mean, I wasn't going to say W because I felt like it might be giving away a little bit of the, eh. you never yeah, know. You never know. But the pretzel scene is pretty great in that movie. I don't know. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down and Liz. Okay, Gods and Monsters. That's incorrect. Uh, Chance? King of the Monsters. King of the Monsters is correct. So Chance takes his first. Uh, lead here four three as we get to our next question mark that's number six yes it is and it is in the world of the category christian will never read comedies <laughs> <laughs> and your question the griswold clan goes to what famous city to renew clark and ellen's wedding vows in the fourth film in the vacation franchise name of the city good question by the writers a lot of twists and turns i like it it was like it was like I was watching Five, nine now. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. Chance. Las Vegas. Las Vegas is correct. Liz. Paris. Didn't have it. So chance goes up by two here. Five three, as we approach the seventh question in round number one. Horror slash thriller is your category. Who plays Arthur Kipps, a recently widowed lawyer? who discovers that his late client's house is haunted in 2012's The Woman in Black. Remember seeing this with you in the theater, too? This movie was creepy. It's creepy. A funny moment in the movie theater, if you remember. I don't. Ooh, I'll tell you. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down and Liz. Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel Radcliffe is correct. Chance? Daniel Radcliffe. Yes, and we see ourselves six four as we get to our last question mark. That's right. This is the last question, round number one, and it's in the category of animated movies, movies drawn by hand or on a laptop. Your question: Summer Vacation is the subtitle of the 2018 third entry in what animated franchise? So yeah, Daniel Radcliffe's in the movie, and there's a scene at the end. Some woman in the theater yelled out, "Oh, he's going to do some Harry Potter s." Oh, I remember. Uh, repeat the question, please. First one. You can do that. In the world of animated movies, "Summer Vacation" is the subtitle of the 2018 third entry in what animated franchise? I do remember that? I also I, I tell the story frequently about the rise of the Planet of the Apes. Yes. Story. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And we start with Chance. Hotel Transylvania. Hotel Transylvania is correct, Liz. 
Hotel Transylvania. She got it. Used the JTE wisely there, and she sees herself only down by two as we get into the second round here, Mark. Round number two, we'll round. How's it go? Round number two, no applause during the rules. The kids need to hear them. It's the wheel round. The wheel of fate, doom, and justice. I knew I opened Pandora's box with that comment. Each competitor gets to spin at the wheel. Once you settle on a category, four questions are coming your way in said genre. Each question is worth two points. There's no penalty for missing a question. However, stealing is available in round number two. So if you're not sure of the answer, ask us for multiple choice. We'll give you four options, one of which is the correct answer, we promise. At that point, the value of the question goes down to one. Christian Chance Ellison and his faction Corruption enjoying a two-point lead over Liz Shannon Miller and Tag. So it's going to be Chance and Shannon conferring now as to whether they want to spin that wheel first or defer to their beswagged opponents. All right, so we're going to give you 60 seconds here to talk to Chance Shannon starting now. All right, shake off round one. We're only up by two. I think uh, it's about time to increase that lead, see what we can do. You're playing great. You're playing smart. You got all your tools in your box left. Uh, I mean, how are you feeling? What do you want to do? I concur. I say we should go first. Let's get it done. Okay. Let us right. uh, bring the wheel up. Here it is. Let's go. Let's get a good spin. Come on, I'll believe in you. Good categories on there today. Some new blood on that wheel. Always such weird stuff out there. Um, oh, opponent. Look at that. Mm, okay. Opponent. No worries. You All got right. this. All There's right. nothing on there you can't handle. Gonna bring back in Winston and Liz. Winston, you got 60 seconds to decide what you want to give him starting now. Oh, all right. We'll do a pep talk for about you later when it's your turn. This is this is great. Um anything that sticks out in your mind right off the bat to try and give him. If not, I have some ideas. I'm looking uh I was considering, I don't know, uh festival darlings, movie release dates, rom coms. I was thinking either festival darlings or movie release dates as well. Um I guess the bigger question is which one, just in case, do you feel better about? I feel like I could, uh, Festival Darlings might be fun. Okay, then let's give them Festival Darlings and then steal some points, all right? Okay. Festival Darlings it is. Okay, thank you very much here. Going to bring back uh, Chance, and now we bring back Chant Shannon Miller, and we're ready to go here. Chance? You've been chosen by your opponent here to answer questions in the realm of festival darlings. Are you ready? I am. Here you go. Four questions in category. Here it is. Question number one. Okay. The Disney produced Queen of Katwe deals with the life of Fiona Mutasi and how she came to be among the world champions at what? Chess. Correct for two points. All right. Question. Two, Taika Waititi's directorial debut came in this 2007 Sundance favorite. Boy. It's incorrect, Liz. The question on the table is, Taika Waititi's directorial debut came in this 2007 Sundance favorite. I guess Eagle versus Shark. That's correct for two points. Big, massive steal there by Liz Shannon Miller as we get to the third question. Here it is. Bill Hader and Kristen Wiig star in this 2014 drama. The Skeleton Twins. That's correct for two points. And finally, your last question. In The Runaways, Dakota Fanning stars as Sherry Curry and Kristen Stewart stars as who? Joan Jett. Two points. Two points. All right. So Liz Shannon Miller picking up a huge, huge steal there, but Ellison's still picking up some points, and he sees himself up 13-7, but big round there for Liz. All right. It's going to drop Chance out, bring back Winston, and you're going to get 60 seconds here to talk to Liz starting now. Great steal. That's pretty. That's that's a phenomenal steal right there. And with the, with that, I don't even flinch it. You were just like, eagle shot. Boom. So, uh all that being said, I hope that builds up your confidence some to know that you're, you're on your game right now. Shake off round one doesn't matter because we're on a roll now, baby. And oh like I said, man, go out there and have some fun. Are we worried? Nah. What? Nah. We ain't worried. <laughs> Not worried at all. So go get it, girl. Thank you. All right. So we're going to bring. He's left, by the way. Bring the wheel up. And here it is. All, all right. right. Here's big, big money, big money, big money. 
No whammies, no whammies. First no. hand by Lieutenant no. is in, and it lands on Dramas. Drama. 60 seconds to decide, starting now. It's pretty bull, I mean, it's pretty broad, so uh, it's up to you. What are you feeling? I'll do it. Feel good? Yeah. Go Ratify. We're, we're doing dramas. We're doing right. dramas. Dramas it is. All right. Well, thank you, Winston. Chance is, oh, sorry a second. Uh, okay, bringing back Liz and Shannon. Here we go. All right, Mark, Liz, Shannon Miller got four questions here in the realm of dramas. That's right. Narrowly missing Spinner's choice, but she seems pretty content with dramas. So here's the first question for two points. Todd Haynes directed Mark Ruffalo in what film about Robert Bilot's case against the chemical manufacturing corporation DuPont? Dark Waters. That is correct for two points. All right, question number two here for Liz as she now sees herself 13-9. Question two. All right, she could get to even or maybe even have the lead over Ellison if the rest of this round goes her way. Your second question, Liz. Which 2012 crime drama has the tagline, a totally twisted, deep fried Texas redneck trailer park murder story? Gotta go multiple choice on that. All right, is it A, the Iceman, B, the Place Beyond the Pines, C, Killer Joe, or D, Lawless? Wanna go D, Killer Joe. Not Killer Joe, sorry, D, D's and dogs. You're going D is and dog is your final answer. Yes, that is my final answer. That is incorrect. Okay. For a steal. Chance Ellison gonna repeat the question in the selections. Which 2012 crime drama has the tagline, a totally twisted deep fried Texas redneck trailer park murder story? Killer Joe. Is it A, the Iceman, B, the place beyond the pines, C, Killer Joe, or D, Lawless? I'm sorry, Killer Joe. That is correct for a point and a big steal. Big steal back there as we get to our next question. This is question number uh, three. Yes, it is. And Liz, your penultimate question in the world of dramas. Who directed the 2012 police drama End of Watch? David Ayer. That is correct for two points. That's a big recovery there, Christian. And Liz can make it a tight game going into round three. That's she right. can get the last question correct. Said here is the final question here for Liz in this round to make it a one point if she hits a two. We'll see. Liz, your final question in the world of drama. What film directed by Clint Eastwood involves the murder of a young Boston woman and its effects on her father and his two child childhood friends? Multiple choice. Is it A, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, B, Changeling, C, Mystic River, or D, or D Hereafter? Mystic River. That is correct for one point, and Chance Ellison has a two-point lead, as he did at the end of round number one, going into now round number three, Christian. But it is yet another scrap here as we find both competitors really pulling shots as we get to round number three. It is the final round, Mark. How does it go? It's the final countdown. And for round number three, thank you for participating at home. In round number three, we need a series of numbers from each competitor. We need three numbers from each of you. These numbers may range from one to 20. They may not be the same numbers as your opponent. Why is that? Each number corresponds to a unique category of Schmodown goodness. Your first question is worth two points. Your next one is worth three points. Your last one. I think we will make it that far, is worth five big points. Chance Ellison, you are enjoying a two-point lead, and so it is the Cobra's honor to give us your three lucky numbers first. From one to 20, what feels fortunate? Six, 17, and 16. All right, and for Liz? 10, 11, and 12. All right, 10, 11, and 12 for Liz. And we have, sorry, 6, 17, and 16. And 16, yep. 16, okay. So because this is coming first, uh, you have 50 seconds to talk to Chance starting now. If my dog would shut up, I would do that. Chance, buddy, you're still two up. I'm not worried about you. You take your time. You got, again, still all of your repeats. You got a challenge if needed. 
Uh, listen to the whole question. Don't get excited. Don't get anxious. Play how you've just been playing, and you got this. Understood. Okay. All right. So, Winston, you got 60 seconds. Talk to Liz starting now. First of all, incredible. I mean, look, you, you answered the same amount of questions in round two for the same amount of points as Mr. Ellison over here. That means y'all doing fine. You going haymaker for haymaker. Ain't nobody worried about this. If anything, I like the idea that we get to answer a question first and third round because then you get to set the tone about how this round goes. So uh, sit there, adjust your hat, take a deep breath, and don't worry about none of these sucker suckers. All right, let's go, Miss Lightning. All right, so I start here. Uh, Liz, are you ready to get going? Let's do it. All right, here we go. I'm going to drop the managers out, and we will begin round number three. Here we go, Liz. You chose you chose category number 10 for your first one, and that's the realm of Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. All right, here's your two-pointer. Okay. Who stars, excuse me, who co-stars alongside Tom Cruise and Michael Mann's Collateral? Jimmy for two points, tying the game. All right, and now we get to our two-pointer here for Chance Ellison, who chose category number six, Mark. Yes, he did, Christian. And Sonny Jurgensen's number corresponds to Oscar movies, movies okay. that made a presence at the Academy Awards. So, Chance, your two-point question could get you a two-point lead. And for that, the query is... Roger Deakins won his first ever Oscar for best cinematography for what sci-fi film? Long overdue, Blade Runner 2049. Indeed and indeed. Two points goes to Chance and Christian follows right back in Lightning's Court. All right, we're back to Liz. You got remakes and reboots for your three-pointer. Uh, here it is. Who plays the character of LeFou in 2018's Beauty and the Beast? Josh Gad. For three more points, there it is. And now we get back to Chance Ellison, Mark, who chose category uh, 17. That's right. That's Doug Williams' number, and that corresponds to the wild, wacky world of fantasy science fiction. Okay. And the question there, Chance, for three points. Which actress co-stars with Ethan Hawke and Jude Law in the 1997 sci-fi film Gattaca? Uma Thurman. With three more points, they're just answering questions back and forth with no time on the clock whatsoever. They are scrapping, and it has forced the hand of Liz Shannon Miller to stay in the game here to hit her five-pointer. In order to do so, she needs to hit category number 12. Uh, category number 12, which is movie release dates, Liz. Movie release dates. Wait. And your five-pointer. Here it is. Based off of a British comic book, Lori Petty would become known as Tank Girl. That came out in what year? Name my cat after her. Uh, 1995. That's correct. For five massive points, Liz Shannon Miller doesn't even sweat. Use a JTE, nothing. 1995, and it sends us to Chance Ellison's five-pointer. He hits it. He moves on to the next round. All right, Chance, you chose category 16, Mark. Yeah, category 16, it's fitting it's Joe Montana's number because Chance has a little comeback to do here if he wants to win in advance, Christian. 2010s okay. is the category you selected. So any movie from 2010 to 2019 is eligible. Chance, your question. For five points and more importantly, the win to advance in the Schmodown tournament. You'll find alien species such as the Thern and Tharks in what 2012 science fiction film? Five, four. Repeat the question. First one. You can do that in the category of the 2010s. You'll find alien species such as the Thern and Tharks in what 2012 sci-fi film? Five, four, three. Eighth question. Second one. 
All right, this is in the 2010s. You'll find alien species such as the Thern and Tharks in what 2012 sci-fi film? Cloud Atlas. And your winner, advancing to the next round, Lightning Liz Shannon Miller. The answer chance was John Carter. John Carter was the answer. Had to put chance in the room at the moment. Wow. Bag. Wow. Massive upset here. Big move. Eliminating corruption. Wow, Winston, you gotta be thrilled right now. What a uh, what a round for Liz, and what a comeback. I'm gonna. I gotta be honest, man. When she when she got movie release dates, I was like, ah, oh, sweet Jesus. And then when she got taken, she was like, please, 1995. I was like, oh lord, I don't even remember what I was doing in 1995. I was a child. That's amazing. How you just pull it out of nowhere? See, I told y'all, this is the best, man. Oh my god. Oh my God, but I, I gotta be real with you, man. Like, I thought I was mad for a minute. I was like, look at Chance out here once again trolling me because he loves to do that. That's how Steeler fans love to be. And and he didn't, and I, I my mind was blown, bro. I, I literally thought you pulled the water out. I was like, oh, he is messing with me. Oh, wow. Wow. Liz, you got to be on top of the world right now. Yeah, this is another victory, two big victories, taking your record now to five and two. And what a victory over Cobra Chance Ellison, a guy who's been a, a champion and he is winning tournaments left and right. How does this feel uh, winning this match here? Pretty surreal. I mean, Chance really impressed me today. He's an incredible competitor, uh, really knows his stuff. I. Honestly, when it came, when it was opponent's choice on the wheel, I was like, I literally, I, I'm gonna pick this. It's something, it's something we had discussed potentially as being something he'd be potentially vulnerable to. But honestly, I was like, I'm, it, I, I don't, it doesn't matter what I pick in this case. It's he's gonna nail it. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, that was some, uh, seriously that five pointer was some Slumdog Millionaire stuff. Like, uh, I swear, I swear, uh, I adopted my cat. Uh, at the near the end of March, and I hadn't quite figured out a name yet. I just knew I didn't like the name that she came with. And the next day, the day after I got her, there was a live tweeting event uh, around the 25th anniversary of Tank Girl. Oh my God. And, and, <laughs> and, 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 and I'm naming the cat Tank Girl, and then five months later, bam! Wow. Yeah, Tank Girl came out. Did you not know the date uh, uh, before that? Before that, uh, that twenty. I actually, I actually, Tank Girl is actually one of my all-time favorite. Oh movies. wow! Really? Hey! Wow. Talk it's about good. talk about good luck. Talk Girl, about. I'm buying, I'm buying you a tank. Wow. If you're a punk teen, if you're a punk fourteen-year-old or a fourteen-year-old who wanted to think she was punk in the year 1995. That was a big movie for you. No, yeah. yeah. Mark, real quick, I just got to ask this, though, because this is like, it, Winston, there is, dude, there's something going on with you this season. It's like, it's like the magic touch, dude. Like this, the, the amount of what it is, you, I, I don't even know if you can call it luck anymore because, like, when you look, it's almost like fate in a certain aspect. When the tank girl stuff, you look at what happened with Chandru, you look at Andres Cabrera. What are you doing over there? Bro, can I tell you something right now? I'm going I'm to blow your mind. I'm going to be dead serious. Before this match, because I got some of my editing done, I decided to boot up Goldeneye. And I was on the streets level. The streets level is where you get in the tank. I lost every single time I played. So I got all our bad juju out in that tank. And then y'all gave me this tank. And then we winning. I'll take that all day. I'll keep losing at Goldeneye. If that's what it takes, that must be what it is. I keep losing at Goldeneye. We found the secret sauce, y'all. Oh my God. I got to go. We have to play. I'm booting it up right what? now. Go talk to Shannon. We're going to play a lot of bad Goldeneye. But yeah, this was, again, chance really impressed me and i thought this was a great match and if, if, if he if he if he'd gotten that five pointer i would have been super impressed because who remembers that there were aliens and john carter that's a that's a tough question for both of y'all and if i had a nickel for every time i got slaughtered a golden eye i could afford myself a tank good movie tank girl great soundtrack i'm standing yes. right there with you liz and I'm just going to ask you, because the Tank Girl stuff is great, and that was my original question, to be honest with you, but we've covered that. Let's move on to you're still advancing in this tournament. So I mentioned in the pre-show, this could be a statement win for you to make an announcement that Lightning is not in a bottle. The Lightning is here to stay for all the fans of Schmodown. So 
What do you want to let everybody out there watching know about who Liz Shannon Miller is as a competitor going into the next round? Um, I guess just this. Uh, y'all, you know, I, I may not comment a lot on Facebook or Twitter or whatnot about, about the showdown, but I read. I'm on Reddit. I check things out. And I saw a lot of brackets that put me getting knocked out in round one, which, you know, I wasn't going to tempt fate. I wasn't going to question that. So a lot more. It actually, most have me knocked out in round one, but the ones who, knocked, who didn't have me knocked out in round one definitely had me knocked out in round two. And so I'm just really happy to be screwing up those brackets. Sorry. Exactly. I love you all. Thank you so much for filling out brackets and caring about the Schmodown, but also, sorry. Hey, that's that secret sauce. I done told you. Upset right. City. Ladies. It is Upset City. It's so funny because, look, I, I, I don't want to uh, – look, I've talked to Shannon about this, and we'll talk about it in, on her interview. She has said it, and she was the one who deemed it. This is the season of upsets. It has been uh, all the way through. It just continues to happen, and this was a massive, massive uh, upset only, not in as far as skill goes, but as far as rankings and, and what Chance has accomplished in the league thus far. But if you look at what Liz Shannon Miller did here today, uh, those types of accomplishments are not too far off from Liz's future here. So I wanted to congratulate both Liz Shannon Miller and Winston once again, picking up three big points here for Swag, continuing on in your first place reign. There is Winston and Liz. All right, thank you both. We'll uh, see you in the next round, round number three. All right, so there they are. Mark, this is big. This is a big one. Swag putting their hooks in and really putting their hooks in. So now we're going to bring back Shannon and Chance, obviously, Chance got to be uh, pretty devastated here on this one. You know, I know that it, it was a hell of a game. It, you were in the lead for the majority of the match itself. And round three, just, uh, you know, you got hit with that tough five at the end there. How are you feeling there, buddy? Come back to me. All right. Uh, Shannon, let's talk about this. Uh, this is big. This is a this is it puts you guys in a vulnerable state now as we now see swag who has their three people left you guys are uh, are struggling at the moment how do you recoup from this particular loss uh, well you know we're not the only faction struggling right now so i can take some solace in that um it, what what am i what do you want me to say um yeah that was luck congratulations on getting really friggin lucky because any other day you would have been done um i'm pissed i'm not happy about it i know chance isn't happy about it but listen, we had our piece of the pie in Energita, and I can rest easy, and my faction can rest easy, knowing that we've dominated at least one of these tournaments. So singles was not our tournament this year. We've still got Adam Collins going at it. We'll see how he does. But, you know, there's enough of the pie for everyone to have a piece, as far as I'm concerned. We got our piece, and I guess we can't get too greedy about it, because we didn't get the other piece that we wanted. Um, Chance, you couldn't make it past the first round in your history and now you've done that you've broken through that ceiling and i know you're angry and i know you're fueled and i know that this is going to make you unstoppable next season so i know i know how you're feeling right now um i don't blame you for how you're feeling right now that five pointer was absurd uh so other than that you played amazing as you always do you never ever ever disappoint me when you're in the ring because you are an elite player yeah, she got lucky today with a ridiculous five pointer that, of, oh, it's my favorite. That's great. Nobody gives a crap. You got to right. shake this off. Yeah, I would uh, I would echo Shannon's words as far as the fire and the competitor that you are, Chance. So I know you must be disappointed in that you're short on words, but I will ask you about round two. I mean, you spin opponent's choice. That's a tough draw for anyone. Once you got hit with Festival Darlings, what was your mindset going into round two? Did you feel like you had something up your sleeve that you can surprise them a little bit? I mean, I felt I felt like I could navigate it well enough, and I did. And uh, yeah, you're right. Like, Shannon's right. I am. I am angry. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm mad at myself because I keep losing in the same way. I always, I always with the, with the five, and. It's, it's frustrating. It's really frustrating, but you know, it's what's I gotta just take a breath, take a step, reevaluate, and because singles is the league I really wanted to come and make a you know make a big splash in this season. I'm sad not to be able to do that, but I got other things to worry about, so I can't I can't hang on for too long. 
Well, Chance, let me, let me echo that, man, because obviously I know how, how much you love this game and how much you love this league and what you want to do here, too. So and with the singles, you know, how it just hasn't gone your particular way, you know. Uh, so what do you do here to, to get back on the horse? Do you do you take it out in the, in, in teams going forward? Do you, do you hit harder with the inner geeks and studying, trying to get that title? Like what, what's the mindset going into the next uh, half of the season? Well, I mean, let me tell you what I'm going to do. Let me tell you what I'm going to do, Christian. First of all, I'm going to. I'm gonna wreck shop in teams. That's what, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, that's, well, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what me and Mike are gonna do coming in teams because I'm not happy with the way this tournament went and I wanna fix that. Uh, Shannon, I'm sorry I let you down, but I'm gonna make up for it, I promise. All right. And inner geek, no, no, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, finish up. <laughs> as far as inner geek them goes, and I will say this, Winston, enjoy it. Enjoy beating me. I'm taking that belt away from him. Now I really, I'm really motivated to do that. So uh, get ready. All right. Chance, Chance you, you did not, you did not let me down. You never let me down. You, Mike may be the face of corruption, but you are the muscle behind it. And I am endlessly proud of everything that you've done for us. I, I can't speak more highly of you. I love you so much. You'll never, ever let me down. You'll never let me down. Thank you, Shannon. All right. Well, thank you to both Shannon and to Cobra. Tough loss here today, guys, and we'll see you guys very, very hey, soon. You know, you know, the thing is, we had the dungeons number and swag had our number. Um, and I want to say one last thing. I took my team from last place to dancing with people for first, second and third. So whatever happens from here on out for the rest of the season, I'm proud of us. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of my faction. We came out of the gutter, took first place, and we're going to be one of the top three factions by the end of this. So this day doesn't matter. What matters is what happens at the end, and that's what we—that's what we got our sights set on, and that's where we're going. Like I said, we recover, we bounce back, we keep moving forward. Winston is a long gone memory; he doesn't matter. All right. Well, thank you to both uh, Shannon and to Chance. Tough one here today, but thank you. Hell of a match to both Chance Ellison and Shannon. Look, you can see it. Chance was—he uh, was—he was pretty heartbroken there, and and he's right. This does keep happening to him. He's—it happened to him against Ethan. In the first tournament he participated in, it happened against Bibiani. In the second tournament that he participated in, and it even happened against Paul Oyama when he played Paul Oyama in that match. He he has it. He has it in his grasp. He just can't get over that hump. It's something that's seen, in the other divisions and everything else he's doing. He's like lights out. You can't you can't touch the guy. But it was not his day. It was Lightning Liz Shannon Miller. That's right. And to anyone who would still doubt Lightning Liz Shannon Miller just because, oh, well, she knew Tank Girl. Look at the the rest of the match. I mean, she navigated her way brilliantly through some tough questions and some categories she didn't necessarily feel all that comfortable with, but she got the job done. And I would be shaking in my boots if I had to go up against her because Christian Liz may not be taken out by one competitor. She may need a full tank and an army to get rid of her in this tournament. And with Champs Ellison, I think you're right. I don't think it's a psychological thing. I don't think it's some sort of yips once you get to the five-pointer. You just come across some tough ones, whether it involves James Fenimore Cooper movies or the band Nickelback. You just get hit with a tough five-pointer, and you have to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and keep playing. And I think that's what Chance is going to be. So we got to see someone thrilled to pull out a victory and someone crushed by a defeat. But Christian, that's just day in and day out around right. this place. In it's the crazy. Yeah, Mark, it's been the it's been absolutely insane with the the types of matches we've been getting. I already want to make a a phone call or a, or or some kind of a conversation very very fast with Attack Peter. I can already see the art. It's a tank, but it's a swag tank, and Winston Marshall is riding it with his commandos all around the sides of him as they're just blasting through the Schmodown town. I can see the art. I can see the art, and I would love to see the big swag tank because they are smashing through this season. Swag is destroying this season. I, I can't – I mean, it's – Finstock Exchange needs to play catch up because corruption is in big trouble at the moment in singles, but they they can still pick up some ground at the end of the season. But right now it's a two per, it's a two faction race. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it has been amazing to be here with you. Make sure that you head on over to Patreon, patreon.com slash schmodown. Become a patron today. Any one of these pay-per-views that we do, you get them at the $10 tier. You get everything. You get the exhibition matches, all access to everything that we've ever done on the Patreon. It's yours. If 
you just want to get pay-per-views straight up, go to theschmodownlive.com. Listen to all of these shows, all of these matches at the Apple Podcasts or anywhere podcasts are found and find the Schmodown feed. Leave us a review, a rate. It's very helpful. And last but not least, go to the Schmodown Clips channel where you can get a recap of the entire league, the league's history. Great moments, a lot of things up there for you to check out. Go check it out. Schmodown fever. Catch it. A lot of proverbial artillery and metaphorical ammo coming your way with the movie trivia showdown, the singles tournament. It rolls on, Christian. Damn good one so far. All right. So once again, the final score, Lightning, Liz, Shannon Miller, 22, defeating Chance Ellison, the Cobra, 19 points, 22, 19. And Swag picks up another three points. We will see you guys very, very soon here as we continue on round number two for Mark Ellis. I'm Christian Harloff. We'll see you next time.